In the first five weeks after my stuck part one video, I'd lost about 26 pounds. And then the next five weeks, I got stuck again and lost one pound. I went up a little and then I went down a little and then I went up a little and then went it down a little. When I say little, I'm talking two or three pounds. And ultimately after five weeks, I was down one more pound. So I was stuck again. Then I watched a video, one of my first Instagram videos I had recorded when I was down to about 228 after it was close to the, it was around the five week mark. And I realized a mistake I had made. So for the next five weeks when I was stuck, I tried some different methodologies of trimming down. I tried following other people online and utilizing their advice. And then when I rewatched that video about five weeks later, I was kind of flustered. A part of it too was that I was trying to convince myself that I was light enough. Why do I need to go all the way down to my ideal weight? I'm comfortable where I am. Life is good. I have more energy. So having some resistance, if you will, and got stuck again. So I watched that video. The video really reminded me of a teaching that I gathered from Robert A. Russell in one of his books. And he suggested that if you want something, you need to go to what he calls the source or the substance rather than the thing. So I began to focus on the weight and hitting the weight goals and trimming down and following one person after another's advice. And I had focused again on the thing, the thing rather than the source. So as I watched that video again, it, it reminded me of the space I was in when I was trimming down and the space where I was over the next five weeks, which was focused on things rather than the source. And it invited me to turn back to the source, which is God, the substance of all living, and to focus on Him and to reintegrate the habits that got me to where I was in the previous five weeks. So I did that and that was the beginning of the August. And then I give some inside scoops on that Instagram post on how to move in that direction. So my handle is I am Kent N. Anyhow, so since then, it's been less than three weeks, still in the month of August. I'm down nine more pounds now that I've refocused back on the source. And I invite you to, if you really want to change, it's really as mentioned in the intro, it's a gift from God. And when you turn your life to Him, He gives you that gift. It's a byproduct. When you want a thing, so to speak, you don't focus focus on the thing, you focus on the principles, you focus on the source and do the things and become the man that you need to be so that you can receive the thing. James Allen says, a man doesn't get what he wants, he gets what he is. And I wanted to say you get what you focus on, but if you focus on the thing, you don't necessarily get the thing. You've got to focus on God and living his law, living his ways and tapping into his power. Then you get the things and you begin to enjoy his fruits because you are are praising him, you are praising the good that you're receiving, and as a result of the praise and the focus on the source, you get the things, and then you can give back more, and you can be more free with your substance, and have more energy to love your family and to serve your neighbor. So, in conclusion, I invite you to turn to the source, the source of all substance, the source of truth, even God. Put your focus on him, and you will find great power in doing that, and it'll give you the sustaining power you need to live a higher law of eating, shall I say. I love how Jesus Christ put it. He says, man shall not live by bread alone. And that's really helped me to implement trimming down as I recognize that my inner soul, my spirit needs food and I need to feed myself and nourish myself with the best books so that I can be of service to him and receive all good things.